The Franken is an old German merchant ship. The ship was built back in 1937 at the Germania Werft shipyard in the Baltic seaport city of Kiel. The port was known for building merchant vessels, but it was more well-known as being a place where World War II U-boats were built. When World War II broke out across Europe in 1939, the Franken was not yet completed. It remained in that port unfinished until 1942, and then the vessel was moved to Copenhagen. The Franken was commissioned in March 1943, and it was put into service on the Baltic Sea where it was used as a tanker and supply ship. Later, it supported other vessels. It also carried fuel, minesweepers, patrol vessels, and torpedo boats. The boat was also on standby to tow disabled naval vessels to safety if necessary. The Franken sailed from two ports in the Bay of Gdansk. One was called the Hel in Poland, which the Germans called Hela. They invaded the country on September 1, 1939, and over 3,000 soldiers defended the Hell Peninsula. It was one of the last remaining Nazi holdouts. They detonated torpedoes and the blast turned the peninsula into an island. After the country's surrender, a few diehard Nazis refused to give up. They fought for six more days before giving up. The Franken was sailed for another port which the Germans called Gotenhafen, and in 1945 the Soviets entered German-held territory. The German Navy evacuated soldiers and civilians across the sea from Estonia. The Russian subs attacked the Nazi crafts in the area. On April 8, 1945, a Russian airborne attack took place which brought on the death of the Franken. It was bombed near the port which sent the ship to the bottom of the Baltic Sea. This was not only catastrophic for the vessel but also for the 48 sailors who were on board. They lost their lives when the ship sank. After the sinking of the Franken, there was another attack on May 7th. This was the end of the war in the Baltic Sea. During the battle, over 30 U-boats, three German destroyers, and one Russian destroyer were all sunk. Today, the Franken lies on the ocean floor between 160 and 240 feet below the surface of the Baltic. The hull was split in two, and the bow separated from the rest of the vessel by around 2,600 feet. Also, the structure is far from stable. In April 2018, Germany's Baltic Sea Conservation Foundation agreed to fund an exploration of the Franken. Two Polish vessels, the Litteral and the Imor, sailed out to the waters where the ship lies. The divers spent over 13 hours exploring the vessel and assessing the remains. What they found during the exploration created serious concern about what was on the ship. They found the hull of the ship had collapsed and the wreck was breaking apart. The steel was deteriorating, which made everybody wonder how long it would be before it completely broke apart. It is positioned in between two dunes, and the current goes between them. And that means that there is water constantly washing over the ship, and that would cause even more damage. It is the salt water that is slowly eroding the outer hull. The storage tanks on the ship are also being corroded. Currently, the thickness of the metal is degrading at a rate of about 0.39 inches every 10 years. Since the ship has been sitting on the ocean floor since 1945, you should understand how serious the ship's condition is then. This World War II shipwreck at the bottom of the Baltic Sea could be a deadly ticking time bomb. That's because the ship was carrying over 800,000 gallons of oil. It was never drained from the ship because after the war, ownership went to the Polish government, and for them, draining the ship of its cargo just wasn't profitable, so they left it on the bottom of the ocean. If the hull is compromised enough, though, the 800,000 gallons of oil are going to end up in the water, creating severe environmental emergencies. If the oil spills from the ship, it could cause the most significant ecological disaster in the entire Baltic Sea region. All of the wildlife in the area could die. When the oil gets caught up in the current, it could move toward the beaches, and that would be a significant pollution incident. That could cause the beaches to be closed for up to two years, which would create a major impact on tourism, which the area seriously depends on. Poland now owns the ship and they're not required to remove the fuel. Their only responsibility begins if the oil starts to leak, but by then it would probably be too late to prevent a severe ecological, environmental, and tourism catastrophe.